Hey guys, welcome to another Super Famicom game history. This time we'll be playing Super Mario World, Super Mario Bros. 4. It was released on November 21st, 1990 for the Super Famicom in Japan, and it is a launch title. Uh, if you enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe. It helps my channel, lets me know that you like what I'm doing. Alright, here we go. Let's do it. And that's interesting how the Japanese Mario World has the Super Mario Brothers like 4 in the name. Super Mario Bros. 4. So they actually refer to it as 4. Like I know when I was a kid I would say like Mario 4 sometimes to people. Alright, let's do this. I mean, and there's not much else can be said but it's Mario World. I mean, it's one of the most the best games ever and the most played games probably ever. There's probably like and at this moment there's probably over 10,000 videos of Super Mario World. Probably more than that. So I'm just going to play a little bit of it. You know, show it off how it plays. When I do these histories there's going to be a lot of like games I'll do that uh, you know, lots of people have played already and then there'll be ones that'll be rare. And this just happens to be one of them that just like everybody had. I mean, they come with the Super Nintendo. At least it did with mine. That's back when you got a game and two controllers. So we can get right here. All right, let's turn the yellow switch on. I think this is this is probably my. Either second or third favorite Mario. Because it's between this and 64 for the second slot. My favorite Mario will always be Mario Brothers 3. I just absolutely love Mario Brothers 3. But this one's at least second or third. It's either this one or 64. Then I would say you got to throw in the um, six golden coins. I love that one on the Game Boy. That one's just great. Oh, get Yoshi for the first time. It's the first time you ever saw Yoshi. His first appearance. I think the reason I don't like Mario World as much as I did 3 is because it felt like... To, and not that's not saying Mario World's a bad game. I really love Mario World. Um... I think it's because, like, I like the idea that 3 had all of those suits. And there was, like, a lot of suits in 3. Even though some of them were rarely used, there was a lot of them. And it felt like, you know, when they got this game, they kind of just... They replaced the suits for Yoshi. Because, you know, all you really have in this one, suit-wise, is fire, feather, you know, and, and that's really it. Fire and feather. There isn't really any other... It's I think of. I don't think there's any other suits in this. And I like, you know, you had the frog suit, the hammer suit, the tanuki suit. Uh, that's already more than this, but like there was just so many. But it kind of got replaced in this with Yoshi because eating the different shells gives him different things. I 
kind of feel like this in Mario Brothers 3. You, you know, it's like, I don't feel that either, I like 3 better, but I don't feel that either is better than the other. Like, I feel like, you know how most games, like when something gets to the new game, it's like, if it's like an upgrade, you know, you're like, well, that one's better than the previous one. I feel like 3 in this one really weren't, there wasn't like a huge improvement. It was just, they were both, uh, both just really great, awesome games. Especially when you do the uh, Mario All-Stars version of 3. And it just makes it look like this. Wow! I usually do about 15 to 20 minutes. I want to see if in 15 to 20 minutes I can beat... I know I can beat this first area in 15 to 20 minutes, but I wonder if I can beat... Um, I doubt I can beat the second area in 15 to, in the rest of the time I have. Because I'm just not, uh... Excuse me. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a speedrunner by any stretch of terms, so... I just do game histories. I'm an anthologist. I anthologize. Even if that is a real word. Alright, to the castle. I was able to make it to the castle. The first one. Yep, bye Yoshi. I always thought that was a cool concept where you could go behind the, because that's like the first time I'd ever seen that done. Like in a, I think this is actually might have been one of the first games that done that, where you could actually move behind the map like that. As you gotta remember at this time, if people remember when these games came out. It was like there was a lot of uh, like innovation at this time. A lot of stuff hadn't been done yet. Seriously? Wow, I got like my butt kicked by him. Save the yellow Yoshi. Boom. Alright, let's save. We're gonna see if I'll see how I can do. I need to get off of Yoshi though to get the uh get that. And if I don't kill him, I think he'll come back. The rough screen, right? No, he bounces. Yep, I'm gonna get the second one. Now I'll go back and get Yoshi. Alright, let's go, Yoshi. We'll just fly. Got one of them. 
Ah, oh, shoot. Lost Joshi at the end. Mm, I may end at the ghost uh, place, because this, I forgot this, is an auto-scrolling level, so it will just go to its own pace. Oh no, I'm gonna die. It's gonna crush me up against it. Well, I may not even make it there. Ah. I was hoping there'd be a uh, mushroom in that. You can go in this, that's why I'm gonna let it take me up. Nope, not that one. Maybe it's the green one here. No? Ooh, I don't know. I thought one of them you could. Maybe it's this one. Okay. Other than the secret exits or anything. Alright, on to the ghost tower. We'll beat the ghost tower and then I'll call the video. Because I like the ghost, ghost tower, ghost house, I should say. I like the ghost houses. They were an awesome addition. Tomorrow. I think it puts a door here, doesn't it? Uh, sure. <laughs> um, and that confused me. That wasn't correct. It's tell me go this way. I don't remember this. It's been forever since I've done this. Is there a... Something here? Wow, I don't remember how you do this. <laughs> it has been ages. Because you go through here, it puts you here. Wait a second. I think I know how you do it. Do you keep this? No. Aha! That was actually luck. I didn't remember that. Alright guys, I think that is going to be it for me. It's Super Mario World. I mean, what else can you say? It's incredible. One of the best games ever. Um, but that will be it for me. And I'll continue with more game history in the future. Uh, Super Famicom sometime in the future. 
And until next time, guys, keep up the positivity.